For hands-on exercise number five, we're going to delete some elements from a slice. And uh, here's the wording for hands-on exercise number five. To delete from a slice, we use a pen along with slicing. So remember, when we're going to delete from a slice, we use a pen, the built-in append function, along with slicing. For this hands-on exercise, follow these steps. Start with this slice. I'm going to copy that. And then use a pen and slicing to get the values here, which you should then print. So you want your slice to end up like this when you're all done. So I'm going to go over to Golang Playground, but first you go over to Golang Playground and do this assignment, this hands-on exercise yourself. And now that you're done, when you're done, pause the video and go do it. When you're done, come back and watch it. Here's the solution. All right, so here's the solution. I'm going to go to Golang Playground. I'm going to start with this slice. And I'm going to create some new variable so we can print that out. And that's where, we end, that's where we start, and this is where we end up. And then we're going to do x equals append 2x, right, some values, whatever they end up being. And we want those values to be like this. Right there. Sweet. So now to make that uh, work. How do we get those values? So we're going to start out with this slice, and it's 42, 43, 44. Uh, so we want 42, 43, 44, not 45. So up to, but not including 45. So 0, 1, 2, 3. Up to, but not including 3. And starting right out the beginning should give us 42, 43, 44. 42, 43, 44. So we're going to start with that, and we're going to pin to that uh, we want to pin 48, 49, 51. So we want to pin these values. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So starting with 6, 6, and going all the way up to the end. So I don't need to put anything there. Now we should be able to print that out and see those values. So we started out with 42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51. And we have 42, 3, 4. 42, 3, 4, and then 48, 49, 50, 51. Perfect. So there's the solution for hands-on exercise number five. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're having fun with it. I am uh, just like on a personal note, and you can stop watching right now if you just want to jump to the coding stuff next. Like I, <laughs> I totally don't know why my voice changes. Like sometimes I feel like I have to talk like this when I'm teaching. I don't know what that's about. Today, like, I just feel so tired. Like, I got good sleep last night, but I've had a week of not getting enough sleep. And uh, and today, I just feel a little bit wiped out. So I don't know what's, uh, yeah, I do know what's up with that. But that's what's going on with me today. I hope your day's going well. That's just the cycle, right? Sometimes, sometimes that's the way it works. You have a long week. But I want to get this done. My family's uh, been out of town for a week, and, and it's been... Um, it's been hard to get in and record, like just emails and, you know, doing, you know, like keeping track of the counting and like um, helping other people create courses. Um, I don't know where my time goes. And then I just, for fun, like shot a video and, and edited that just for a good time with my friend Barnabas, who's one of the people who builds Greater Commons with us. And, like, we went out to the movies and we recorded it all. You could go to YouTube, Todd McLeod, personal. And uh, let's see if that brings it up. Todd McLeod, personal. I created the new channel because I have Todd McLeod, and that was just my YouTube channel. And I started putting up all this ghost stuff three years ago. And uh, and then I and then I put up a couple of personal videos, and people were like, dude, this channel's for Go. What are you doing? <laughs> Create your own personal channel if you want to put up personal videos. So I uh, created this channel here. Here it is. I'll put this into the course outline and hopefully come up with a better, um, a better uh, URL for that. But I'll put that in the course outline. But we went out. We went out for uh, to the movies. We had the craziest experience right here. So uh, my friend's Hungarian, and then we saw a guy, and I thought this guy was totally dead. It was like, oh my gosh, what is going on with that guy? Let me show him to you. We're almost to the dead guy. Oh, right here. It's like, what the heck? Like he was sitting in his car like that, but he'd just fallen asleep. But so we thought he was dead. And then we, you know, there just happened to be like this concert out at the mall. And, uh, and then we went and saw Wonder Woman. So it's kind of fun. I like making videos for fun. But it's been, um, <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> been working hard. All right. That's the personal anecdote. See you in the next video.
one more little bit. I sometimes find it helpful just sometimes to like talk normal and uh, connect as a human. Um, keeps me like connected to being real. All right, check that video out. I'll put this link to uh, the personal videos here. And uh, so this is a solution. And then just for fun. That should get you to uh, my channel. Yeah, that will take you there. And I'll probably have a better name for that eventually. All right, that's the end of hands-on exercise number five.